Here we're going to create a stair, balustrading and railings for a floor using Caddy's AEC tools in version 16. So let's have a look at how we're going to finish with this result. Moving across to our blank model, we'll go to the top view, so view, top view, and we'll start by setting out our stair. Now using the 2D flag, so switching to 2D rather than 3D, so we're snapping onto the UCS here, uh, we'll use the construction line, so caddy construction lines, just to set out uh, basis for our stair. So I can type in 1800mm and use the right arrow key, which will give me my locating point for the base of the stair. Using caddy's AEC tools, floor stairs and railings, stairs, we choose the type of stair here, multi-landing, and the landing type is quarter landing there. Height 2600 uh, overall with the, the tread 223 and the width 900. OK to that. We'll start here, going in that direction, and then that pointing well beyond the end of the stair will define our stair for us. So there we can see the representation that we have is one of the, the stair just shown to a cut line. Now if we change using our cut plane, so we change the view from first floor, you see we get the full stair there. Again using construction lines, I can set out the position for the floor. So we'll choose construction lines, so that's setting it out there, and we'll go back to our AEC tools floor stairs and railings, floor slab, and we have 2375 plus 225, the thickness of our floor, making up the 2600 that we had for the entire stair. OK to that, and just mark out our floor, option end, and then we can see, with just a quick rotate, that we have indeed got our, our floor there. So now to the railings, going back to our our top view. We can pick our stair, right click, AEC and add a railing. And here the railing comes in down the centre of the stair, which is not necessarily what we want, but just deselecting the stair, selecting the railing and going to object properties, we see that we have a host of information here. The one that we're chiefly concerned with here is anchor and so rather than being centre we'll anchor on the right and OK to that. So there's our, our stair. We also have different options for the style and we're going to go for a, a residential square. Having picked our stair we see we have uh, additional new posts that we maybe don't want. What we'll do is just drag those away so I can just drag those out of the way Now to create the railings at first first floor level, we can do this in a variety of ways, but I'm just going to use the UCS tools from the 3D section of uh, the Caddy, Caddy tools here, and we'll do an offset and just pick just pick to the, the top. There we are, set offset by 2600. So now our working plane is here, and I can switch that flag to 2D in the noise that when I snap, I'll be snapping onto the, the right plane. We'll go to the top view and then zoom in there on our railings. I'm going to use Caddy's construction lines just to pick out the centre of our railing there so that I can locate the end of my railing for the balustrading. Go to lines and draw in a polyline. This will define where we want the railing to run. Now remembering that we we've changed our UCS so that polyline is at first floor level now. We can now go to our AEC tools, floor stairs and railings, add a railing from polyline and there we see our railing created. If we wish to remove the additional newel, which we'll just change to freehand, and then extend it to be in the same position as there. And there is our finished stair 
with railings and balustrading.